I actually completely forgot to tweak the fabricate claim option, and this guy's done it anyway. Thank you, my friend. Welcome to the adventures of my lovely Gummy Bonson. Glorious, normal man, and lord of uh, some random province in the Himalayas, apparently. Are currently under this man, but my god, are we working on dismantling this round from the inside. First thing to do, forge that golden bloodline. That's what we're going to plow onto today. We're going to get the 2,000 assets necessary to become a guild master. When we're guild master, all we've got to do is get that bloodline done. And then I think that's going to set us up quite nicely for a few different generations. At which point, we might want to flip over to the marsh character. Because I'm hoping the go I have no idea what the golden bloodline does, by the way. I'm hoping it will give some bonuses to it so that we can play as a mar martial character without worrying about our economy being compromised at all because, you know, we've played as a lot of stewardship characters. Well, we've only stewardship characters so far. This guy, 31 martial, or sorry, 31 stewardship. Going from that to a martial-based character is going to destroy our economy, especially as that martial-based character is not going to be able to take the business focus and not be able to join the trade league either or anything like that. So I've got to hope that that Golden Bloodline really pays for itself, and we've got to make sure that when we do it, or, or after, or during we get the Golden Bloodline, to be honest with you, we've got to make sure we're building ourselves into the scenario whereby we're still getting a decent amount of tax. <gasps> Joris Bonson II, or what would have been Joris Bonson II if he became our heir, died of chamber business. That's really tragic. My god. What's the dynasty looking like right now, then? 17 living members, so barely married off to... House Kachari, she is probably married to someone else. Oh, she's just, uh, just a 48-year-old widow these days. Um, in my court, 200 apostates. Oh, right, she's my court uh, priest. That's interesting. Okay, fair enough. Welcome aboard. Um, who else have we got in the dynasty? We'll get a quick uh, catch-up here. Joris? Joris, did you ever marry? Joris never married. Why? He's a, a bhikkhu. Lives his life as asceticism in accordance with that. Oh, okay. He's, he's dedicated to his religion. Fair enough. You know what, Joris? Wasn't in line to inherit any titles. Decided to dedicate himself to essentially become the equivalent of a monk for the Buddhist faith. Our brother, Barbarian of Hungary. Doing very well, actually. Married, uh, who was that? Was that Trash... Trashies? No? Just some random woman by the looks of it there. Um, they've got two children. They've got Lodra and... Trinnell? <laughs> Trinnell Bonson does, does sound like one of my names. She's doing alright for herself. What's her, what's her brother doing? Alright, too. Oh, that's smart. That's fine. You know, not too terrible there. We've got Wang Truk Bonson, our other brother there, with his uh, that four different kids. My god, wait, why is this one? Oh my god, he married off matrilineally to somebody. How weird. So he had two children of his own, then he married off matrilineally to the daughter of a count there, and then inherited her land. Oh, god, god knows what happened with this guy, but uh, definitely got some... Is that what happened there? Uh, I believe it was. It absolutely was. He inherited his father-in-law's titles. Wow, very weird. He's also a territorial leader and a skirmisher leader. An incredible military leader is our, is our half-brother. We've got Bjorn, who is married to our to Wang Chuk's liege. So this is all very weird. We've, 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 we've got a hand in many different pies. Then, of course, there's us. Gummy Bonson, Lord and Stewardship Supreme Master. And then we have Tremang, the 44-year-old guy. You know, he's not married, but there's no reason we couldn't marry him off very quickly to somebody. Um, you know, we don't want him to miss out on these things. Uh, so we've got two concubines. Oh my god, is that all we've got the choice of right now? Um, I see. I, I will find you a good wife, my brother. You know what? You, you deserve it. You've, you've helped the realm. You've not tried to kill anyone as far as I know. You've, you've done your duty. Let's see what we can... She'll do. If he'll agree to it. Absolutely. You're a powerful wife for my powerful brother. And that's actually true. Okay, good work. We've checked the dynasty. They're doing pretty goddamn well. 17 living members. You know what? Joris would be proud. If he could see the tower and the legacy and the mountains of money we had, I think he'd be, he'd be pretty happy with what we've done with things. Another son. We've got Mooney Bonson, who is also genius. Mooney is good, but I'm going to spell it uh, Mooney. Mooney Bonson. Welcome. Mooney and Gummy Bonson. We, st we genuinely do start to sound like a crime fam family a little bit here. So we did struggle. We did pride. Now we've got to do thrift because we are going around in sort of this, I guess, anti clockwise style fashion around the board here to see what our kids end up like. Okay, so you are going to be trained by... Um, is that his mother? Yeah, it is. Uh, mother and apprentice trader. She's strong. She's attractive. She's just... She's Midas touched. You know what? Educate your son. See how well he do. Speaking of which, what, how well are our children do already? So we've got Pom Bonson. Um, oh my god, I didn't educate Pom Bonson. Wait, you're in Pride. You're in Struggle. So I guess Pom Bonson gets his duty then, just because I forgot about him. We've got to also throw him to someone to be educated. I'm so sorry. I'm so glad I'm checking this in hindsight. Um, right, you educate him then. He's doing okay. He's got Haughty. Haughty's garbage, but his actual stats aren't too terrible there. Then we've got Gummy Bonson the second. Uh, kind of garbage. Martial, stewardship, and uh, a little bit of diplomacy there. Eight line, if you've got to remember four, is, that for, is from being Buddhist. His actual traits aren't too bad. Playful and brooding. Both turn into fairly okay traits there. And then we've got, I think this kid, Unbearable Bonson might be the one to take over. Conscientious, fussy, and rowdy. 
like I said, we'll go around in a circle for their childhood sort of focus. But for their actual education, we'll see what their personality ends up like before we determine that. So this kid's personality is going to determine to me that he's going to be an incredible steward, much like his father. At the age of nine, he's got 12 stewardship. This kid could be this kid could be great. I want to know what age we can make him an apprentice trader then. Um, he's clearly too young right now. We know that when they turn 15, we can, but it might be a bit earlier than that as well. We'll make sure this kid really finds his calling in the stewardship area. And then we've got Mooney Bonson as well, just born and already nine learning. That's absolutely ridiculous. A spy master wants to go to China to improve relations. Do you want to send him? Do you want to send our our wife? She's 17. I mean, we haven't had any kids out of her yet, and she's a prodigy, so I kind of like to keep her at home. But she has the 17 diplomacy. She's arbitrary, though, which might be a problem. Or we let Bum Bonson, our character's daughter, go and prove herself. 16 diplomacy. She's ambitious, lustful, cynical, patient. Patient and, and gray eminence, I think, would work. Let's send Bum to China. Bum's magical adventures in China. See if she comes back with some uh, with some points because there's no real way for us as a as a uh, count here to get too much of a good thing with China. Is him a eunuch? Ah, who's this guy? Court physician. I'd like to keep him being our court physician. Who are you? Just a random courtier? Fuck it. Ship him off. Right, who else we got? Send a concubine as well. Uh, send. I don't want to send Bum Bonson. She's my goddamn daughter. I'm not sending her to be a Chinese concubine. How dare you? Again, building up rapport with the Emperor is going to be very difficult unless we have 800 gold kicking around. We can't kowtow because you have to be a duke for that. So I guess we'll just ask them when we can. Send off people to China in exchange for a little bit of favor there. Eventually, hoping to get... Oh, well, there we go. He's already had a kid. Um, it's Dwarf Sun. Well, yeah, we don't really matter about this kid too much because uh, he's not in line to inherit at all. One thing we want to get from China, and the best thing in my opinion to get from China, would be that trade contract doubling all of our trade posts. Now, we've only got one trade post right now, but we could... I mean, we're trying to fabricate clans on this province. We've got a claim on this one. If we go for, sport, for specifically provinces on the Silk Road, um, the next one to actually... Is this also a trade post? I don't know. Oh, hostilities in this round of... Okay, so, th so this one's the next trade post. We could specifically go for trade post provinces early on to maximize our profits with that. It's kind of a bit of a... Uh, it's a bit of a bit of a long-term plan, though. Wow. Um, we can realize we had a crush on our concubine all along that we've had three kids with. Fine. Um... Oh, there we go. We fell in love. Oh, my clever beauty. I'll have to remember that one. Uh, fell in love with this concubine. That's quite a nice story, huh? So, I'm trying to not do any training because we want to build up the assets. But if we don't do the training, we can't become a master trader. But if we don't have the assets, we can't get the golden bloodline regardless. So, there is the opportunity to build a city, which I assume will give us a nice chunk of assets. However, it's expensive. We can't hold cities since it's the last in our province. I'm going to do it because chances are, as we progress through this campaign and head into the rest of India, we're not going to want to keep Barrow as our capital. It's, it's three provinces up in the mountains, so it's not exactly super central and super useful. Um, particularly as, like, on, on certain parts of India, you can get some pretty hefty provinces going on. On Silk Road trade post with a whole bunch of goods, uh, subholdings too. Oh, she wants to leave and go to the Jade Empire anyway. 300 Grace and piss her off or let her go and follow her dreams. You know what? I wish you the greatest of luck, Bon Bonson, to China with you. She's going to go and join the Jin Empire in exchange for 500 grace. She left us the ceremonial robes as well. That's actually really nice because we didn't have anything that would, uh, that would do... Oh my god, we got so much treasure with this guy. My god, Gummy Bonson, you have built a hell of a legacy here. Right, so now we can request an artifact, siege engineer, strategist again. I'm not sure the Imperial... Uh, sorry, the trade contract is that useful this early. It's 2,000 grace. We only have one province on the Silk Road. Might not be useful. Chinese artifact, though. If we get one of those powerful books, that might be quite good. Hey, there we go. Taxpayers are... So we've got ourselves a new city there. Unfortunately, we can't hold it, so we'll just dish it out to anyone. Receive word that settlement construction is about to finish as per our agreement. We'll send money to its people. Oh, cool. Okay, so they are gonna... Oh, build up the city as well. Bustling new city. Giving a tax modifier. It's not exactly gonna pay for itself. But we are closing on the higher level. Um, oh, actually it might if you consider the plus 10% bonus for Guildmaster for longer. Because we're going to get there quicker. Does that make sense? Wife is pregnant. Hey, that's good news. Give us that prodigy early. Ooh, we're getting charitable. Wow, we really have broken the trend of... Greedy, horrendous. Like, we got rid of Greedy when, when this guy was young. And he's worked his whole life to try and prove that he's not Greedy. Finally charitable. All it took was showing a bit of mercy to his pregnant wife. Wow. Who'd have thought that that's all it takes? Weird. Diplomacy plus three is quite nice. Uh, personal combat, church pin, and everything else. That was good. That was well done. Oh, God. What the fuck? What do you mean? Why are we leading troops? Commander of the... No, 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 no. I didn't agree to that. Like, I literally said no to being his commander. What the fuck? He has to ask us, right? He can't just make us... Oh, good. Okay. Um, 
16 personal combat versus 13 personal combat. Do we? I mean, out oh, it's charitable. Take the warden and let me live. No, he wouldn't do that. Just, paranoid, ambitious. He's an ambitious man. Gain brave. Oh, God, this is a bad idea, isn't it? We gained brave. We have lost the battle, though. They're laughing, mocking me, thirsting for blood. Take me, Captain, instead. All this is how it ends when we die. We've been taken prisoner. During a military campaign that we had no control over. But we're a brave man now. We've proven ourselves, both in terms of charity. And we've, we've gotten rid of all the vices of the original Joris. I mean, Joris had Joris was craven and he was greedy. We're just a better man from every perspective. Excuse me, sorry, can we... What? They fucking took my book and then keep... You can't do that. What the fuck? Who was he at war with? Who was it? You? You took my book. Did he take my book? He fucking took my goddamn book. That was written by Joris. Can't be taking that back, you little bitch. Uh, steal artifacts, please. Uh, doesn't have a region. What? What do you mean? We don't have a fucking region, do we? Uh, oh, there we go. We're home. I'm taking that book back. No, that's that's Joris's legacy that you've stolen from me. We can't steal it back. What the hell do you mean we can't steal it back? It's my book. I always got it equipped. This man's a piece of shit. Steals my book. Beats his wife, apparently. Fuck this guy. You can fucking... You can die. You can die. Kind and just. There is justice. You just stole... You imprisoned us and then stole our things. You can die. I'll show you justice. Useless. He uses, um, we can have... Uh, we can make Jobo's uh, bizarre adventure joke again if we play as her. Jomo. No. You will be called... Jorasina. Jorasina, the, the female version of Joris, because that was basically her name anyway. Pody died. I don't care about Pody. Um, what are we up to? I think we were up to Faith. And it's probably good that we're using it on her rather than a character that we might actually want to play as. That, well, we obviously can't play as her. Wow, I'm a, a little bit pissed off about that because that book was... Well, fuck's sake. Okay. Um, what do I want to go for then? We could go for the family focus. Wait, what can't we take right now? Do we have access to everything? Oh, wow, look at that. Nice work. Because we're not, we're not craving or anything anymore. That's, that's obviously very nice. Um, cool. I think we will go for... Um, maybe seduction, maybe family focus. I would really love to get that prodigy kid, and there's not really m much point working on business anymore, seeing as we are just about to hit. Boom, there we fucking go. Chancellor, absolutely. Never leaving your goddamn troops again. Guildmaster, right, now we know what we need for this golden goddamn bloodline. We need 500 assets, fine. We need money, we need master trader. We need 36 out of 100 trades, are you joking? We're 48. Oh my god, I'm gonna. I'm, this is gonna be so, so difficult to do. Every time we get the option to go to market, I'm gonna have to take it if we even stand a chance of doing this. Wow, Marisa Tay is still around. Holy shit, there she is, 58. I just made her. Uh, is it just me or does she look like she's not aging? Are you immortal? Marisa Tay, you have to tell me if you're immortal. What is that? This character has guardian of an otter, which will ensure the well being of the realm, I'm sure. Okay, um. I mean, let's put you on standby, because obviously we don't really have any work for you right now. So, Gummy Bonson Jr. is actually kind of trash. We can make him, uh, steward, intrigue, or marshal. Wow, okay. Um, I think we'll go for, I don't want to play a stewardship forever. But these kids are also terrible. Okay, fine, we'll go for that then, fuck it. Go for Marshall. Um, make sure he's got a good guardian as well. Uh, here, train him. Tremang, my, my brother. I trust you training my, my glorious... Potentially not air, but I think unbearable has got to be it. Um, unbearable, you know what? Would make for a good intrigue or stewardship or marsh character. We're going to go for stewardship. We're going to see now at the age of 12, we can make him an apprentice trader. Um, unbearable. Oh my god, it's 12. Nice. Okay, so we might be able to turn this kid into an apprentice trader long before us. If we can't forge the bloodline, unbearable will. I'm actually a little bit annoyed that we might not be able to do it with this guy, but hey, I mean, oh right, they, they stopped being educated because we went to prison. Right, okay. Um, let's also take, uh, let's take Palm on as well then. Why not? Here we go. Uh, Gummy, there we go. Oh wait. Oh, he's already got a guardian. Shit. Um, oh, they've all got guardians. Okay, cool. So we'll just give you to anybody in that case. Here you go. Uh, you train her. Right, cool. Is that everyone? Uh, good, 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 good. Yeah, we're fine. Wow, this is going to be so fucking hard then. Um, 37 out of 100. I just have to hit this button whenever I've got the opportunity to. Even then, it might not be possible. We're going to blow up the man that stole my book. Kill him. <gasps> Am I dead? We're fine. Oh, my God. Uh, no tigers were slain, but the biggest tiger of all, the ill tiger of evil omens and such, is going to die, hopefully, please. Shit. Complicity was discovered. How's the plot looking? 155% that we could. Uh, maybe go for some other people to join us. It's not really worth it. 
Hopefully, he'll just die of his own accord. Let's answer this question with Devin. Does this count as a step towards the Golden Bloodline? Um, let's take a look. So, it's 37 out of 100 trades right now. Let's make a major investment, and then let's look back at it. That is 38 out of 100 trades. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, I trust a word. I don't think we can do it. How, how frequently can we go to the market? So, it's the 18th of July... 923 right now let's see when this becomes available and then we should be able to work out if this is even possible with our current lifespan um unbearable become why can't we name you my oh my god are we agnatic cognatic oh fuck um <laughs> so unbearable can't be our air it's either palm or gummy oh god it's got to be palm Pom's got haughty and willful, though. You'd make a good military leader. I'm going to mark Pom as our ex. At least he's genius. Even if he gets shit education, he's got those traits that we can pass on. Um, just for you. Oh, my God. She's so good, though. Why can't we play as unbearable? Oh, so it's, a, it's November now. So I'm going to assume it was that July to October. So uh, August, September, October. So it's every three months you can go to the market. Holy shit. So that's three months to do another how many trades? Uh, three months to do another... What is that? Like 62 trades. Fuck. <laughs> okay, what's 62 times 3 off the top of my head? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, 180, 186. Shit. Okay, so 186 months. What's that in years? Like, a lot. <laughs> 10 and a bit years. Something like that. Like 12 years. I don't fucking know. Um, we can do it, but the chance I would have to be like mechanical with... How frequently we go into the market, and we would have to succeed and not be, uh, uh, and actually get the additional one every single time. I don't think we can do it. Unless this guy lives to the age of fucking 70, this is going to be so, so hard to do. So, for example, if I do this and call them out in a scam, does this count towards the bloodline? So, what are we up to? 38. Um, I mean, we could say we're not falling for that and actually just straight up go to the market, though. Uh, let's buy some. Oh, I don't know. I, I mean, whatever's cheap. Give me some meat. There we go. Give me some tasty, tasty meat. Because if we do fail this, we need to make sure that our next character, who's looking to be a bit shitty, I'll be honest with you, is in the best situation possible by maybe even pushing some of these claims we fabricate. We've only got one so far. Maybe building up the territory as much as possible. Obviously, we can't get any tech points, so we're fairly limited in what we can do here. Um, Mountaineering Academy. Doesn't seem like much, but it's something. Light infantry morale, that's, that's fine. I imagine most of our troops are light infantry at this stage. Get it down. Let's make sure we're upgrading as much as possible. Then what else have we got? Like, uh... Militia quarter? It doesn't seem like much, but I've just got to do whatever we can. Ah! Un that's the best thing I've ever seen. There's a fucking thumbnail right there. That's incredible. Um, also build up the trade post. Hey, we can. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Greetings, Guildmaster Gummy. Hello. There's a high demand for grade. Does this count towards our trades? So, they want grain. Um, we could chance we've probably got some grain. Yeah, here we go. Send it. Should we should be at 40 now, if that works? Oh, it does. Okay, then. It might not be as bad as I thought. We might be only able to do it in a decade, rather than beyond a decade. I'm pretty sure that was the name of the blue lady alien from uh, Avatar, right? Anyway, uh, what are we going to call you, Baby Bonson? So, you are heritage this time, I believe. Um, I mean, sure. Conga, I can work with that. How about, how about King Bonson? How about King Bonson? That's nice and confusing. Um, does that have anything to do with being a perfectly normal man? No, but I really love the idea that all of them sound like vague, mafia, sort of old-style 40s gangster nicknames. Uh, sorry, what? Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. Right, goodbye. Uh, so we've got ourselves. We've got Mooney, Mooney Bonson. We've got King Bonson. We've got Pom Bonson, Gummy Bonson, Unbearable Bonson. These are incredible. Now's a good time to sell pottery. Fuck it. Sell the pottery. We need some money back here, and that obviously counts as a trade. So we'll have to sell some, buy some, do whatever we've got to do here to ensure that Ram's afloat. Um, he wanted me to do something now. I just thought I'd better ignore it. So, in preparation for Libationer Yong's arrival tomorrow, are uh, underway. So we've got a friend from China coming to visit us, a sort of Chinese learned man here. Spend all night learning truly complicated phrases to impress... 60% chance we become a student of language, given plus one learning. Now, there's another event that allows you to become a student of language that gives you diligent guarantees, so we might not want to do that just from a purely metagame perspective. But my man is kind, he's just, he's ambitious, he's brave. What's braver than trying to learn Chinese in one night? Do it. 40% chance falling asleep while studying, causing you to be late to the audience tomorrow. Um, an hour or two up preparing a simple greeting should suffice. Oh my god. Um, can I have to rival the translator's skill? Big risks, big reward. 
Are we even going to get that big a reward from it? Um, potentially Scholar Bureaucrats Master Engineers. Ooh, okay. I'm going to go for that one. Hey, we did it. Nice work. I spent an hour reading and greeting, which the translator prepared for me before going to bed. As I dressed this morning, he was there to help me with the pronunciation. I have no idea what all the elaborate phrases mean, but at least they come out somewhat smoothly as I greet Libation and Young. That went well, I think. He's going to write home with a positive report, getting 300 grace with the Jin Empire. Now I think we can get ourselves. Do you want a Scholar Bureaucrat? Um, what, Master Engineer, what is that? Oh, we have to be higher than account. I guess we'll just go for the Scholar Bureaucrat then. Most sincere gratitude to the Emperor. If only I'd done that five seconds ago before I built everything in every province. Um, why am I still swine this woman? Uh, Hunt will be perfect. Fine. The sack of grain there, okay. Uh, 41 out of 100. <laughs> Fine, fuck it. What are we going to get this time? Uh, incense. Bring it. Wow, there she goes. Elba Slick. After all these years. Man, so that was, uh, that was obviously original Joris's, uh, our, our first character's wife there and our current character's mother. Good God, 74. And that's the last of the, uh, previous generation completely out there now. We're the old generation. Fucking millennials. May Brahma protect them. Okay, cool. Uh, once again, I'll pop to market here. We need to sell some things. Oh, God. What if I continue way to market? We need to sell. What have we got that we don't want? Because we're down to 75 gold right now. So, my God, we've got a lot of prestige, though, huh? Great Tower Ceremony. Oh, the Great Tower has really flipped things around. Chancellor, uh, Royal Builder of the Kingdom. We've got two nubile concubines. Wow, okay. Um, let's sell. I guess we've got gold and things. We could invest it, but I mean, when we've only got 75 gold left, I think it's safe. Uh, let's sell some spices. Uh, who wants to buy some spices? So I paid like 120 because the guy came up to me and said, this is the best deal of your life. It actually was. Thank you, my friend. Do we want to invest that into the round or do we want to keep some money in pocket to be able to keep uh, doing these trade deals? I mean, we should be able to do it either way because we just take turns between selling and buying. So let's focus on making sure the round is in good hands for next generation. Wow, that was unexpected. 11 days, 14 days. We've got this kind of modifier with this kind of man. Perfectly normal man, that is. Holy fuck. Um, well, okay then. Um, mine is not bad. Gives decent tax income. And in fact, I've said this many, many times for every series. But for those of you who are new, I like going for the 100 to 1 on money input versus tax income output. So if you spend 100 gold on something plus 1 tax, is a good ratio. This to me seems quite nice. 188 for, because we got bill cost redu reduction for 2.5 tax income. Do it. Absolutely get that mine up in Barrow. What, what have we got in here then? Just barracks and herb garden now. Ugh. Yeah, see, that's not so good, but it takes only four days, so it can start paying it for itself a lot quicker. Hey, poison wine for the man who stole my book. And then, if we're fast, if we keep it paused, the next guy that takes over from him won't have time to equip the artifact unless it auto equips, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. We might be able to steal back the secrets of Joris. This could be good. Um, eliminate the poachers. We have a sense of justice, don't forget. The law demands their death by hanging because we are just. Those also... Uh, we're fucking killing everyone. I did my best. Fuck you. Ah, he approves of it. Thank you. Oh my god, we failed. But he didn't know it was us this time. He's a shrewd man, so he's going to take a bit more killing. Oh, unbearable. If only you were a man and could rule this round. Because you are so good. Look at this. Just, ambitious, potentially gregarious, gre gregarious or deceitful are both incredible. Patient, greedy, or paranoid would all be incredible. Rowdy turns into brawny, honest, dull, or uncouth. Brawny and honest, pretty good. You know, honest is, hon honesty can be a, a virtue. Uh, dull, obviously not in CK2, just, just general. Uh, dull or uncouth are both obviously quite bad, but, I mean, dull, uh, dull would be really bad for her because it would get rid of genius, replace it with quick. I have high hopes for you. I'm not going to kill off two sons to obviously put her on the throne. That would be absurd. We're a just, kind man. That would be just an awful, th unthinkable thing. But if they were to fall down the stairs, they would fall down the stairs like my poor father's uh, ex-concubine. That would not be a problem. Another bloody Dorsey called Conga. Okay, you know what? Have it. That's twice now the game suggests that to me. That must be fate. You are all the way... Are we all the way around to humility already? I believe we are, aren't we? All the way around this uh, education clock. Uh, there you go. Educate her. Nice. Look at that. What a family. What a, what a glorious family. 21 living members of House Bonson. Oh, there we go. You've traveled far and wide, spending a lot of time dealing and negotiating. We have become a master trader. Another thing ticked off. I kind of assumed we were going to get that anyway. Just getting 47 out of 100. We're almost halfway there. We need assets equal to 500. That'll be easy to do. Just not got to visit the market every 30 seconds. Create a center of trade in the capital is one of the other things we've got to do here. So that is... Um... Intrigue decision. So from the menu, we can make their capital a major center of trade once in their lifetime using assets and gold. Friday with free goods and shipments. They only need support in the long term. We should do this early on. Um, create a center of trade. What do we need for that then? Um, we've got everything but the assets. Oh, shit. Wow. Uh, and now, did a marvelous job. 
absolutely. Uh, glass was always sell well. Music, uh, does this count as another trade thing? There could be a lot of ways we can do this here. Um, so we're looking at 47. Glasswares always sell. We gain that. Uh, the 75% chance of unbearable becoming diligent too. Fuck it. Did that count? Uh, it did. 48 out of 100. Nice work. He's dead. He's dead and that wasn't even me. Was slain by Zin Shan in personal combat. Who inherited my goddamn book? Is it you? You have to tell me. Oh, he's already got it equipped. I hate you. I hate you. Can I I'm so annoyed. We need to take that back. We can raid. A lot of you point out we can raid. We can only raid this guy. Um, because you can only raid your immediate neighbors here. So we could go for Bum Thang. But that would give us gold and prestige. I don't know if you know this. Gold and prestige we don't really like. So I haven't been bothered with it, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, create a standard trade. Profits awaits. As a guild master, you have a lot of connections and influence in the trade league. With preferential taxes and tariffs, you manage to attract traders from their favored markets to your territory. To retain them, you need to support the market personally with occasional gifts. Profit awaits. Done. Easy. That's another thing down. All we've got to do, get the gold and the assets. Go on the assets. We've just got to let time tick. And then finally is the market. I think it's going to be so difficult. We need to focus on the hunting focus. Get that hunting dog. Make sure we're not stressed. We need to make sure that we... Ha I mean, I think I might just go hunting folks for the rest of time when we can flip over to it to try and get this bloodline. Ooh, wow. Another one. That's great. Second... Oh, let's also get this done while we have the opportunity to. Um, My God, I can't really afford it anymore. Uh, Fine. 128 plus this on top. We are now in debt, but that's our second claim. 52. Do we want to press it now? Um, what have we got? So we got that one and this one, I guess. Oh, shit. You're talking to me, dog. It's all the way up there. Um, let's get this guy focusing on Mon Yul next. So anything in this guy's... I mean, ideally, every single one of these, then we go to war. So we've only got a couple more to get right now. Um, was it this one? Oh, I suppose this one and this one now. He's also got that one. That's fairly annoying, but... Get those, and then we become the Duke, and then we have almost all the power in this realm. Our liege then has four promises. We can overthrow him and take it for ourselves. My god. Can can Gummy Bonson achieve all of this? Young Bearable has finished her education, and she has excelled at her studies. How is she not considered Midas touched with that? She's a fortune builder. She's got 23 stewardship. Teach her bravery, or give her honesty. Bravery. she got honesty. I mean, I don't know why I even bother trying. She's a fantastic character. Honest, diligent, kind, paranoid, ambitious, just, genius. That, I mean, I thought it was me saying I don't want to make carbon copies of each character. Every generation has been an improvement on the last. She's got diligent. Our character never had diligent. We don't have craven. Our character before our current character had craven. This is incredible. It's a real shame we're not playing at, uh, at like absolute cognatic. Because she is, is by far our best character currently. This could be something. Ask Liege for a title. My liege holds many titles. As a loyal vassal, surely he could spare me some land. My liege, I would love to ask you for a title. Can we maybe send him some uh, gold or something? Ah, fuck. Should have sent him some gold first, huh? Um, yeah. Uh, if it's a member of our dynasty. No, I can't send it. Unbearable, my glorious daughter. No, he has is, is talked us out of it. He has talked us out of it. You are a bedrock of loyalty, the cornerstone of the realm. Truly, there is support for your claim in the Buddha Vakana. Thank you. Um, I'm not going to try and read your name. My liege is wise, but gave us fucking nothing. Mm. <laughs> you have gathered your followers and hunting dogs. You have saddled your horse and prepared your weapons. You are ready to set out and hunt. The great white bear. Where could it be? Scour low and high. Perfectly normal men of the realm. Find this great white bear and we shall destroy it so that our peasants are no longer harmed. The white bear eludes me. We could not find it. Right on the other side is the white bear staring at you. You're so close yet you cannot reach it. As it runs away, you realize you must return home without victory this time. I will catch it someday. The white bear eludes me. CK2 everyone. Ooh, Palm. Holy shit. I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god, he's so good. Palm Bonson. There he is. Tibeto Burma. Uh, 22 Marshall. Genius, uncouth, cruel, brave. It will be a, a different ruler for the realm, certainly. But maybe he's the guy we need because we are going to, I mean, we're going to grab so much more land soon. So this is the type of guy, I think, leading our realm. We can count the coin. We've put the realm in the right scenario to expand. Now we need someone who's capable of keeping it and holding it and maybe even expanding it. Okay, it's not the air I was really looking for, but hey, 22 Marshall is obviously fantastic. I absolutely can't complain at that. Finally... Oh my god, Wang Chuk Bonson, thank you. A small puppy, but of the finest pedigree, destined to become a great hunting dog. I accept this gift. I'm doing whatever the hell I kept faithful to try and keep this poor 
man alive. 56 years of age. We have the hunting, folks, giving us plus one health. We have the hunting dog. We have six health overall. Really, that's lower than I thought it would be. Is that not taken into account the doggo? There we go. Seven health. Okay. Um, which is, you know, what we'd know anyway, because maths. We need 894 gold. We've made 61 out of the 100 trades. I think we can do it. I genuinely, genuinely think we can do it. Spent weeks in the wilderness hunting that white bear, but we just couldn't fucking find the thing. Unbelievable. Why would there be a white bear in these mountains? It's just ridiculous. No one's ever heard of such a thing. It's my own failure. Humble or arbitrary? He's a just man. He wouldn't just go straight from just to arbitrary. Like, rolling around like a tyrant because we couldn't find a freaking bear. Are you ridiculous? He's a humble man. He's already kind and, and just. I feel like that goes hand in hand and charitable. I feel like humility is just sort of the next step in that direction. What a great guy all around. It's a really nice character compared to his last sort of accursed father. Right, okay, let's sell some more garbage here. This is like second nature to me now. Um, this lumber worth way less than this lumber here. Perfect. How close are we? 60... <laughs> What? W what? Oh my god, I've got it set to yearly auto saves. That's a whole year gone. What the fuck do you mean? Our liege died and we lost the game? I, I don't know what happened. Oh my god, this fucking... Oh my god, that's a year's progress gone. <laughs> we lose this one? The Bengal War to make Mar- No, 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 that wouldn't make us lose the game. That's turning him into a tributary. That's so weird. Oh well, back to the drawing board. Ooh, okay, another one. Wow, good work. Holy shit. So that's almost all of them within that Dutch now. Let's head to market again. Okay, gifts, and then a little sell off some uh, some wool there for a little bit of profit. Right, so what are we missing out on? Let's take... So let's take... Oh, Glitterhoof, right, Legion's Council. Yeah, of course, he's a fucking nut job. Um, what are we missing out on then? So we've got Kud Kundina, L L L L Liu, and Mon Yui. So we got... Uh, Monul, sorry. We got that one, that one, that one. Right, so his capital we could go for, or we go for this one. Those are the last two. I'm going to go for... <coughs> his capital, just based on the fact this one's tribal, it's in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't really matter. I don't really want to risk trying to get all of it when we can guarantee you can get those. I'll take his capital too, because that has a lot of war score associated with it also. God knows what happened when that game over happened then. I can only assume he just randomly revoked our title or some shit. I have, I have really no clue there. No, because he couldn't have, because we'd have had an option to, say, get fucked and go into rebellion. I don't know. Um, farmers should be compensated. Uh, right, so due to Panic's War epidemic, central trade is facing harsh, harsh times. Give them the glassware. That if there's anything I have, it's a mountain of shit I can give to them. Just got meat and grain and glassware just piled up. Oh my god, he's done it. You madman. Is that the... That took no time at all. Okay, what's his, what's his chance now? Uh, still 16% chance yearly. Shall I just go for that? It's got 2,400 men. We've got 1,400. We'd have to hire some mercenaries. I mean, fuck it. It's going to make our realm so much more powerful by comparison. Could ask for round peace. He is also the heir of the man we're about to attack. The only thing we wouldn't get is Medog, which is currently at war to, to be released anyway. So, let's do it. Let's do it. That's, this is what we said. We dissimilate them from the inside, and my god, am I actually going to do it. Uh, give me some of them mercenaries, boy. Um, how many do we want? Not a, not a huge amount. I mean, what's, what's, what's the troop difference? It was like only like a thousand or so men, right? Uh, yeah, it's only a thousand men. So let's go for, I don't know, like a nice... Oh, dude, fuck it. Right, merge them together. we got Gummy on the center. The mighty Marshal Gummy on the center. What about our, our son or our heir? He's obviously incredibly good. So you're sacked in favor of Pom. You're sacked in favor of other Gummy. And you're sacked in favor of my good friend Lodra. We've got a whole Gummy dynasty. Oh my god, Pom. You know what? Take the center. Was he a trickster? Better than us. Take the center. Gummy on the flank, and then Gummy on the flank. Gummy's on both flank. Oh my god, okay, right. Auto balance it. Let's kill them all. Let's kill them all. This is going to be fantastic. Tends to be down a tad. Don't go nuts with it. 
I'm sure we've got better commanders than that. How has he fielded that many men so quickly? You hire some troops as well. That's against the rules. You coward. You're not allowed to hire troops. Only I'm allowed to hire troops. Fine. Let's get a couple more then. Just as a, just as a backup here. Come on, boys. Uh, horse archers. Figure we might as well round the army off, seeing as we have none already. That's that's not true. I just cut the first one I saw, I'll be honest with you. Right, come on. Uh, sorry. Uh, did you just call them friends? Oh, no, that must be the, uh, the other war that I'm not too concerned about. Right, merge and kill. Where, where are they running to? Why are you running? Come back here. Right, let's make sure his army dies to us rather than the AI. Oh, slow him down. Come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice. 2,800 uh, less morale than us right now. Let's make sure we're also balanced. Uh, we're back on the center. You know what? I don't know why. I think Trace to give some flank bonuses though, doesn't it? Oh, God. I need to stay on top of the market stuff too and not be distracted here. Head for the market. Uh, untick that. We know that whenever we get that pop-up, we know that it's fine. Whatever. Battle of Alcov, 200 gold. Sold. Sold to the man at the front. Come on. Good work. That was a little dangerous, I will admit. Good work. 54% war score already. Then we take his capital. We probably got it in the bag. Boom. Gummy Bonson, your realm is going to be gigantic by the time we're done. Uh, don't, uh, did we chase him down? Uh, 26, 18. I'll accept any injury if it protects Barrow. We gain a swollen wrist. Honestly, that's worth it. Swallow and restore die. Well, that's a hard choice. Thanks, CK2. Good time to sell meat. I sell some meat as well. I am I'm definitely staying on top of that. Don't worry. Don't panic. Mr. Streamer can't do two things at once. Mr. Streamer always does a million things at once. He's you. Stop them. Hang the culprits. We're a just man. Never. Oh, where's... Whoa, 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 where's my air? What's he doing? Uh, I made him my marshal. Fair enough. You know what? Not a problem. No, no, genuinely not a problem. I mean that sincerely. Because uh, we basically got this one in the fucking bag. Just got to knock this one down, and we are done. Come on, faster. How are we looking with the market as well, by the way? There it is. It's back. Ahead for the market. Granted, we could play on a slightly slower speed and get it literally day perfect. I'm not doing that. This isn't fucking StarCraft. What's, what's my APM on going to the market? Thanks for asking. Right, come on. Burn the apostate. Oh, who was that? My wife! <laughs> I'm sorry, wife. I'm so distracted by a hundred things. Done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Thank you. I will take most of the realm. Yes. Is that a duchy level title? Joris. Joris, I hope you're looking down from us from wherever you are. Probably, like I said, probably got reincarnated as a slug. We've done it. You look upon Raja, Gummy, Bonson, the cleansing flame. Glorious. That's actually a hell of a round we've carved out for ourselves there. Great work. We got enough gold left to pay off our debts as well. Repay that loan. Can't even go to the market yet. That's how quick we got that warden. Six, six out of 100. 58 years of age. I think we fucking got it. We're going to leave this one here. Tomorrow, we forge the bloodline. Tomorrow, we rip this ram apart. Gummy Bonson's name will go down in history as the greatest goddamn Raja Tibet has ever seen. Thank you for watching, my friends. Let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons who made this series possible in the first place, including... Aiden W, Alpha Scuff, Anthony Gawley, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer, 419, Bacon Kitten, Sidini, Crazy Fat, Croesus, Donald, Emerald Beam, Fakuna Vasquez, Fluffinut, Ghost of Protocol, Gogla, Sarik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lynn, ignore that, Josh Lynn, Dean Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kenan Carter, Michael Mullen, Musk, Rapful, Nat Buskus, 911, Nathan Flores, Necro, Phelan, Powers, Presley, Rodin, Richard Clark, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Stannis, The Manis, Shayok, Swain, The Forsaken One, T-Bag, Cruz, Tontair, 18, Tyler, Kendall, Bakus, Bakus, and... William Green for their support. The Insane Tier Loves on Patreon. Thank you to these guys for keeping the channel alive in the first place. Much appreciation. Big shout out to you guys. And a thank you as well to Asaro, Anna Person, Andrew Walsh, uh, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordoon, Ben Trope, Esmus Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, Corey CA, David Van Diepen, Don, and Connie 217, Easy to Pronounce Name, Eric Farrell, Exploding Knees, Frederick Brennan, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji, Zerko, Gompo, Gray, Hashi Dumar, Henrik Stensgaard, Icarus, Icy the Great, Ida, Irish, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yuron DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, John Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Lou Allen Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mustolt, Monty, Nathaniel Limburg, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Sammy, Pan Pearl, Payback 1 through 7, Paint Dennis, Al Rodrigo, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Smokeworm, Spencer Powell, Soycrates, Super Nanny 089, The Bloody Knight, The Insane Pickle, Voluntary, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wilson, Tef, Wolfie, Yorker, Zico 2. If this lets get to any longer, I die. See you all tomorrow.